Hello and welcome back to another airport update series. Today will be the first episode of a brand new airport. This will be Chicago O'Hare International. This airport is located in the Chicago area, roughly on the outskirts of the main city. Um, we'll have lots of interesting airliners here today and just about every single model I own. So let's get into it. Starting us off over here at Terminal 1, we have this Lufthansa Airbus A350-900. This aircraft is getting ready for its flight to Munich. As you can see, its catering just finished. Following that, we have an Air Canada Express CRJ-900. This aircraft just finished loading up its passengers and will now be pushing back for its flight to Toronto. Next up, we have this United 737 MAX 9 in the Continental Merger livery. This aircraft is getting ready for its flight out to Denver, as baggage will arrive shortly. After that, we have this United 737-700. This aircraft just finished its service from Santa Ana. Here we have a United 757-300. This aircraft just finished loading its baggage and is getting ready to push back for its service to Los Angeles. Following that, we have this United 777-200 in the Star Alliance color scheme. This aircraft is getting ready for its flight to San Francisco. I didn't really have any other place to put the Delta aircraft, so I just decided to put them next to the Uniteds, even though in reality that probably would never happen considering they're different alliances. Anyways, this A220-100 is awaiting its pushback clearance for its flight to Minneapolis. Behind that Delta A220-100 is this enormous British Airways A380. This aircraft in this specific airport means a lot to me as it was the first time I was actually able to see a BA A380 at its ramp. I'll put a picture of that on the screen right now. But of course, this aircraft just came in from London Heathrow. On the other side of the taxiway here, we have this Delta Boeing 757-300. Only the 752 flies into O'Hare, however, I don't have that aircraft, so I will be using the 753 here today. Anyway, this aircraft just came in from Atlanta. And as the only Southwest aircraft for today's update, we have this Southwest Boeing 737 MAX 8 in the Herbert D. Kelleher livery. This aircraft just blew its front tires as it was taxiing in Mach 10. Before that, however, it was heading out to Orlando. Anyways, that'll be topping off Terminal 1, so let's move on to Terminal 3 and the cargo ramp. Real quick before we start the next half of the video, I just want to say why you haven't seen any runways yet. Um, the real reason is just because if you look at ORD from a bird's eye view, you can see that the airport is just chaos when it comes to runways so i wouldn't i'm not going to add any invisible runways like you've seen in the first rsw update or just any runways in general maybe i might add one or two in the coming updates but that depends on what the future holds i just wanted to say that real quick but let's get on with the video starting us off today is this western global 747 400 bcf this aircraft is currently being pushed back for its flight to fort myers Funny enough, I actually saw this exact flight land not too long ago. It was really interesting because I was finally able to catch one of these beauties in the daylight. I'll put a few pictures on the screen right now. Moving on, we have this Cargo Lux 747-400F. This aircraft just finished loading its cargo for its flight to Atlanta. After that, we have this UPS MD-11F. This aircraft, of course, just came in from Louisville. As you can see, its cargo is being unloaded as we speak. It's going to be sad to see these planes go. I'm pretty sure UPS and FedEx are retiring them, so I'm assuming they will be replaced by 767s. However, right now we're going to have this MD-11 ticket service to and from Louisville when it comes to the Chicago updates for now. And as the last aircraft at the cargo ramp today, we have this FedEx 767-300F, which is getting ready for its flight to Memphis. And as the last cargo aircraft in general, we have this UPS 757-200. This aircraft just came in from Louisville. Moving on to Terminal 3, the terminal itself is actually built by LEGO. It's not the best build I've ever done, but honestly I think it gets the job done, which is really what matters. For now, however, this is where you'll see all of the One World members. First up, we have this American Eagle E-175. This aircraft just came in from Columbus. Following that, we have an Alaska E-175. This aircraft is currently pushing back for its flight to Boise. I hope I pronounced that right. Moving on from that, we have an American A320. This aircraft just finished its catering and will be heading to Washington shortly. And as the last aircraft in this update, we have this American 777-200. This aircraft is getting ready for its flight to Athens, Greece. Before we go, I just want to say it's been a pleasure making this update as this is actually the airport I grew up around. And in fact, this Cargo Lux 747-400 in the retro livery is actually the first 747 I've ever gotten on camera while plane spotting. So this airport definitely means a lot to me and I just want to say it's been a pleasure making this update. 
However, that is going to wrap up the very first update of the Chicago O'Hare series on my channel. I do hope you guys enjoyed, and I want to thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.